I'll show you what that means. This week, we're looking at how do you set things on fire? We're gonna be doing it in a few stages, and if you want to take part in all the stages, then you're gonna need the following. A fire steel, which you can buy from a camping shop, and a bit of flint, a piece of A4 paper, some big steel balls. If you don't have big steel balls, try and find some big rocks instead. A washing line and pegs, a gas lighter, some flash paper, which you can buy from a magician's shop, some flash cotton, which you can buy from the same shop. And safety first, you're also gonna need some nice insulating gloves and some safety specs. So how do you set something on fire? Well, the classic chemistry of burning stuff is basically just a fuel combining with oxygen and it's a chemical reaction and energy is released in that chemical reaction to make fire. So the main three things you need to set something on fire, the ingredients for fire, let's say, are fuel, you need something to actually burn, you need oxygen to combine with the fuel, but you also need heat to get things started. So let's start with the fuel. So here I have got a fire steel. Now the clue's in the name a bit, it is made of steel and you might think steel isn't actually a fuel, there's no way we can burn steel. But if we shave little bits of this steel off we'll actually see it burning. It's what's called pyrophorus, it, it sort of self-ignites in the oxygen that's in the air. Now this you can buy from any camping shop and they come with a little bit of flint attached on it, but flint is basically just, just a hard rock. So I've got a bit of flint rock here. And if I scrape this across, it'll make smaller bits of steel sort of fly off and we should see a few sparks. Maybe we can pop the lights down so you can see the sparks a little better. So, like that. So, ah, that one was good. Okay, lights back up. So basically there, we did have all the things to get fire. We had fuel because the steel was actually fuel. And um, we had heat because the actual force of scraping this across the steel produced a little bit of heat. And also we had enough oxygen to combine with the bits of steel and set things on fire. So now we're gonna move on to the next part, which involves your washing line. So if I peg a bit just there, like so. Now, these big steel balls are ridiculously heavy. Between them, they're about seven kg, I think. And what I'm gonna do is whack them together. Now, <laughs> it's quite good for my guns, this. So when I whack them together, mind your fingers, when I whack them together, the movement energy from these balls is converted into heat energy when they smack together. Because when they're actually, I'm gonna do this in slow motion for you. So they're moving, 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 moving through the air and then they stop. And when they stop, their movement energy has to go somewhere because energy can't be created or destroyed. It just moves from one form to another. So that movement energy, when they stop, has to go into something. And so it goes into sound. You can hear the clunky sound and it goes into a bit of heat. So I'm gonna smack these together, but with this paper in the middle. So let's just see what happens. Oh, they're pretty heavy. Gotta line them up. And there we go. You can see it's created a burn hole. And if you smell the hole, you can actually smell the burning. Now, flash cotton is formulated in such a way that it, it burns completely, basically. It's got oxygen within it and it's got enough oxygen to combine with the fuel that's in it. So it burns completely, produces a lot of gas, which is why you can use it as an explosive but um, you can also do some quite cool things with it. So I've got a little bit of flash cotton now. I'm just gonna pop on a glove and some safety specs. There we go. Got me lighter. And like I said, it's got just the right amount of oxygen in it to combine with the fuel that's in it. So it burns completely. And I'll show you what that means. Like that. So there's absolutely nothing left. Let's try it with the lights down and hopefully you'll see it a little bit better. 
I do like this. So let's pop it on my hand and there we go. This is flash paper. So it's the same sort of formula, but in paper form. So you can see where this is going. So the thing with explosives is if you contain them, that's when they produce a bang, produce an explosion. So when I get my big balls and smash them either side of this paper, the actual gas that's produced is going to be trapped between those two balls. So we're going to hear quite a, not, not a boom, but a little bit of a crackling, a bit of a bang, a little bit of an explosion. I'm going to put my safety specs on for this as well. Uh, and let's give that a shot. I'm just going to move this flash cotton out of the way. Okay. There you go. You can hear this crack just like in a Christmas cracker. And again, you can try it with your rocks. There, you can still hear a little bit of a crack. So um, there we had, um, we had the fuel, that was our flash paper. Uh, we had the oxygen, because that was in the air around us. And the heat was produced just by the movement energy of the balls being converted into heat energy. So this goes to show basically, you can set just about anything on fire as long as you've got those three things. So if you want to see more videos like this, why not subscribe to Head Squeeze? And if you like the videos you see, why not like them? Even if you don't like them, maybe just like them anyway.